and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. I skipped yesterday, I know, but today I'm back. So today the topic of discussion is rank of a matrix. Some of you have mentioned that you need to know what is, how we can calculate rank of a matrix. So whenever you are given with a matrix, you need to uh, keep in mind that you have to find all of, means make most of the zeros in the matrix, okay? Whenever you will make most of the zeros, then whatever it is left, the highest order of that minor, the highest order uh, of a matrix which can be formed after excluding those zeros is called rank of a matrix. Okay, let me tell you how we can calculate. Here is an example of 3 by 3 order matrix. So you are doing with this. Try to make identity matrix if it is possible and go it in this way see you have one here now apply elementary transformations whether row transformations or column transformations so you have you can make these two zeros by keeping this constant so r2 if we apply r2 tends to r2 minus r1 and r3 tends to r3 minus r1 okay so what it has become one first of all you didn't change r1 but in r2 you apply r2 minus r1 so r2 minus r1 is 0 4 minus 2 is 2 2 minus 3 is minus 1 r3 minus r1 2 minus 1 is 1 6 minus 2 is 4 5 minus 3 is 2 okay thereafter what you can do oh if you take 2 r1 then you can make it 0 as well 2 minus 2 is 0, 6 minus 2 times R1, 2 to the 4, 6 minus 4 is 2, and 5 minus 6 is minus 1, okay? So all together, you have made this, uh, this is a column, these are rows, so you have made this, uh, this column, two zeros in this column, and one one, okay? Now, if you can take two as common, you can take it, right? 3 minus 1, minus 1. What you can do, if you apply now in this in this uh, column, if you see there are two, three ones, if you subtract these two from each other, you can make more zeros, right? Your agenda is to make a uh, maximum number of zeros in matrix, okay? So what you can do, if you do, um, you have one here, for identity matrix, it should be 1. So you can make these two zeros. So R1 tends to R1 minus R3. And R2 tends to R2. R2 we need 1. R3 minus R2, right? Target, take R2 as constant and subtract it from each other. Now, moving on. 2 is common. You didn't change this. Just see. R1 and R3, you are applying changes in R1 and R3, take R2 common, I mean R2 constant. So what it is, R1 minus R2, 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 3 minus minus 1 is 4, okay? Then R3 minus R2, 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, minus 1 plus 1 is 0, okay? Now what you can do, come to this point, because it is 0, you cannot make it 1, but is it possible if you can make any other 0 in this? Think about it. If you apply in C3, this is column 3, okay? If you apply C3 minus 4, C1, okay? C3, 4, minus 4, C1, 4 times 1, it will become 0, right? So, you didn't change C1 and C2. You are not changing. 4 minus 4, 0. C3 minus 4, C1. Rest, C1 is 0. So, only C3 you need to take. Okay? Now, what you can do? Is it possible to make it as well 0? As 0 as well. Mm, what we can do? If we add these two, then we can make 0, right? So if we apply C2 tends to C2 plus C3, what it will become? 2. 
I hope you can see here. 2, C1 is constant. C2, you are applying in C3, right? C2 is constant. And for C3, you can add these two. 0. It was 0, right? So, this is constant. 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay? Now, what you can see here? What type of matrix you can see that that is non-zero? You can see these, all these are zeros. The only smallest matrix which you can form from here is this, which is 2 by 2 order matrix, which can result into a non-zero number, right? If you want to find out the minor of this matrix, it can be 1. If you find out the determinant of this, 1 times 1 is 1. Minus 0 is 1, right? So, only this matrix can be formed as a non-zero matrix from its parent matrix, right? And it is of order 2 by 2. 2 rows, 2 columns. That is our rank. So, our rank, which is denoted by rho or P of A, A matrix, which we had here. So, rho A is 2 because... It is the height, what I said earlier in the beginning of this video, rank of a matrix is the highest order of a non-zero matrix which can be formed from the parent matrix. So, 2 by 2 order, only 2 by 2 order matrix can be formed from it, okay, by making all zeros, okay. So, the minors which can be formed from any of the matrices from this, and this is of 2 by 2 order, that's why the rank is 2. Try to do it with 4x4 four four as well. And if you face any problem, just comment in the comment box. Rest of the topic we will discuss in our next class. But if you like this video, don't forget to like it, share it and subscribe on my channel. Till then, take care. Bye.